Hi guys, uh, someone wrote to me and asked me how I set up Visual Studio with Unity and how I set up the project for the card game. Uh, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, uh, if you're stuck about how to actually get started with the card game, this is probably the video to watch. Um, so yeah, uh, after the fade we explain how to get everything and how to set everything up. So throughout the videos you've probably noticed that I actually use Visual Studio 2013 um, you can get your own copy of Visual Studio 2013 for free! Uh, Microsoft in their infinite wisdom decided that paying for Visual Studio was pointless because they actually want people to develop on their platform. So that's why they, they obviously decided to go for free. So to find Visual Studio 2013, you just Google it. The link is actually in the show notes below, but this is the sort of steps to go through it. So Visual Studio 2013 com Unity Edition. And you see that it finds the, the first link there if you're using Google. I think it's actually the second, bizarrely, in Bing, but the first one in Google. So go ahead and click on that. Visual Studio Community Edition 2013. Full featured IDE, free to students, open source contributors, and small teams. So you're a small team, you're just learning developing, so why not have it for free? So it goes through and gives all examples of why you should use Visual Studio Community. But essentially, they just want you to use their tools so that you buy into their ecosystem, so you then develop applications for their operating system. It's a good trick. I'm not complaining. We're getting stuff for free. Okay, so click on download. And download will uh, save the file. So go ahead and save the file there. When you run the file, uh, click on run in there. Uh, it will bring up an installer. Uh, I've already installed it, which is why the setup program is blocked here. Uh, but it's just a simple matter of clicking all your way through there um, and it will install the program. So that's the first step. Um, make sure when, so installing it takes a, a, a little bit of time. Once it's installed, you may have to reboot your machine. Once you've rebooted your machine, Come back to this video and we'll do the next step. So you've installed Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition? Good? Okay, awesome. So the next thing you want to do is you want to either click on the link below or you can Google for uh, Visual Studio Tools for Unity. Uh, and this will take you to a website called unityvs.com. This is the bridge between Visual Studio and Unity. So when you double click a, a file, in a CS file, a, a, a C Sharp file in Unity, it will appear in Visual Studio. And Visual Studio will handle all that kind of stuff and you, you can use Visual Studio just as you would for any other project. So because we have downloaded the, the 2013 edition of Visual Studio, we're looking for Visual Studio 2013 tools for Unity. So click on that and it will take you to the Microsoft Visual Studio website which is good because it's now actually part of Microsoft. Uh, and then click on download, follow the steps again, and that will install Visual Studio tools for Unity. There is one more step that we need to do, uh, and we'll do that after the fade. So I will let you do this, uh, and I'll see you after the fade. So tools for Unity has been installed, and it is currently inside this folder here, which is my program files uh, x86 folder. Uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Tools for Unity, and then 2013. And you'll notice that there is a Visual Studio 2013 Tools Unity package there. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to set up a, a project uh, for Unity. Pardon me. So start Unity. Um, now I've already created this dummy project here. Uh, I'm going to create uh, yet another one just to, to, to show you how to do it. Uh, so create a new project by clicking on new project here. Uh, you get to choose uh, what the project is going to be called. So I'm going to call this my new game. Uh, if you're building the card game, you might want to call it card game. Uh, but I'm going to call it my new game. Uh, you also get to choose what folder you want to put it into. So I'm going to click on the ellipsis down here and create a new folder called new game and then click on select. 
So now my new game is going to go in here. Now you also get to choose what type of game you're building. So you can choose whether you're building a 3D game or a 2D game. So I'm going to leave it as 3D game. You can also add packages as well. So packages are, these are the pre-built ones that come with Unity. So you might want to include uh, particle systems, effects, environments, uh, scripts for vehicles, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just check the box there and then click on done. I'm not going to install anything just now, but you can if you want. So uh, click on create project and then Visual Studio will whir away in the background. And it will create a system for you, a development environment for you. So you see that it starts off with the default scene. The default scene contains main camera, direction, light, uh, and there is a down here. There is a project folder which is blank just now. There's nothing in it. The only thing that's in it is the assets folder. Um, but what I suggest is that you create separate folders for each of the the object types that you're going to create so for example you do create folder and create one for scripts and then you might want to create another folder for scenes and then you might want to create another one for models and another one for textures now, you can organize this uh, whichever way that you want to organize it, but I, that's the way that I organize my scenes and, and uh, scripts and medals and all that, models and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, it, it just makes finding things easier. You can always search for it as well. So you can search for, for items over here in the search box. So that, that sets up your, your project. The next step is to set up the bridge between Unity and Visual Studio. And that's done by clicking on Assets up here. Click on Import Package, Custom Package. Now, it'll open up in the, 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 uh, the folder where your project exists. We don't actually want to use that folder. We want to head back to our C drive, Program Files, Microsoft Visual Studio Tools for Unity 2013, because remember we downloaded the 2013 Community Edition one. Uh, for Visual Studio, click on that, click on open, and it will open up the package and it will tell us that we've got a couple of assemblies here, one for bridge, one for messaging, uh, and then go ahead and click on import. I'm not going to do it because I've actually set this up before, but you want to, to click on import there. And what that does is, uh, if you go to preferences, external tools, normally it will say external script editor is monodevelop built-in but because we've added this bridge now it will now say unity vs dot open file okay and it will set up the, the the file there thanks for watching if you liked the video please subscribe down there little link down there uh, if you really like the video and you want some timely reminders that uh, I'm sending out a video then that's a good link to, to, uh, to click uh, if you like the video click on like if you didn't like the video leave a comment explain why you didn't like the comment um, yeah thanks very much for watching catch you next time